All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. And today I want to talk about caves. Yeah, so you have to go into the caves. I mean, there's no way around it. I guess you could stay on the surface, but you're really not going to get all the resources you possibly need. And you'll never finish the game unless you go into a cave. So here's a video just about spelunking. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. The Ashenir cave system has taken a huge leap in evolution since the pre-alpha stage where there was oxygen and power littering the walls. Well, and even to the late early access phase where you had various creatures hanging from the ceiling. Caves have evolved into a much more dynamic and rich environment in Terrain 2.0. In the System Era Vlog 32, Adam goes into great detail about Terrain 2.0 and the cave system. I'm just going to include a little bit here. At 4, you had like two layers of caves. Um, they all played fairly similarly. Two layers of caves, very simply made. We didn't have a noise system back then, so we're, it's a different technique called connected modifiers that we're using. It's in the past. Uh, this new system is j the same amount of control that I have over the land I have on every layer of the terrain going down. So you can effectively think of them as subterranean biomes that we have total control over that are no different from the surface biomes. Right. I highly recommend you go and watch that entire video. But if you just want to watch uh, the stuff that the, about the caves, which Adam's talking about, he gets into it about seven minutes into the video, maybe a little bit sooner than that. I'll make sure I put the link in the description below. Okay, so with terrain 2.0 and this new subterranean level layer it seems that most of the cave system is made up of many different layers till you get to that that final piece in the core and as you can see in the image here there's a, a big giant circle in the center of the core that is where the gateway engine is located now the layers on the planets kind of vary but from what I've seen, the layers tend to be anywhere between six and eight layers. The moons are slightly different. They're smaller and they're meant to be smaller. And so the cave system is somewhere around three to six layers. I haven't counted all the caves. It's just too much to do. But as you're going through and you're digging down the layers, you're gonna experience that the moons are definitely smaller. Some of the planets, like Glacio, seem to have a much larger cave system, and it takes a long time to drill down to the core. Now with that, each of the layers of the caves have slight variations. Each planet has a, a very specific look and feel to the caves, where e and each planet has a different look and feel for the caves. But as you traverse down the layers, there's going to be slight variations on each one of the layers. Some are pretty exciting, like on Silva, when you get to the mushroom layer, it's a rich mushroom environment with a lot of particle effects that looks absolutely beautiful. Not all the caves have these particle layers. There are a few cave systems on the planets that do have some sort of particle effects. There seems to be a common theme in the layers of the caves. It seems like as you're going down, you'll eventually hit what's called a cathedral layer. And Adam talks about that in the vlog 32. That you'll hit this layer that is just incredibly high from the moment that you punch in the top till you get down to the bottom. You get this incredible sense of vertigo looking down. That is a really fun layer, and it seems to be a consistent theme throughout all of the planets and moons. You'll get to a layer that has this huge vaulted ceiling, and you know you're pretty close to getting down to the, the core at that moment in time. Maybe a layer or two below that will be the core. The cave system is incredibly rich with resources. You'll find your primary and secondary resources in abundance in the cave system, especially the lower you go. The lower you go, you'll find larger and larger deposits of resources. Getting into the cave system is always scary, and the best way to get into the cave system is to build yourself a nice, 
Not too steep ramp, but a nice ramp going down. One way that I found is really effective to get down to the core in the caves is to create some sort of zigzag like pattern with your ramps. If you don't have the technology to get yourself a vehicle or you don't you haven't unlocked the drill heads that you can just drill down directly to the core, you know, the most effective way of going down to the core is in some zigzag type pattern. There are people who enjoy just creating a very, very steep ramp going down. I always find that a little bit too difficult to control my character on that such an extreme slide angle and getting back for me is a little bit too slow because typically you have to jump up that ramp. I don't see any way around it. I think that you have to go into the caves. I think you can get the primary and secondary resources on the surface of the planet, but you're not going to find them in abundance. So you're going to have to go and dig down into the cave systems. The only thing that I would wish if I had a wish for Astroneer was better lighting. I would really love to have some sort of item that would help light up these cave systems. You know, you can have your work light on and you can have your helmet light on, but that doesn't seem to be enough. You, you get this, you know, partial view of the caves. The cave systems are absolutely beautiful in Astroneer. I would love to have some sort of floodlights that I could hang from various portions on the ceilings to absolutely light up the caves. You can use the work lights to, to help light up the caves, but doing that is such a huge endeavor. I would really like some sort of flood lamp, um, something that directs a huge amount of light that can help, you know, just light up these cave systems so we can experience them a little bit better. You know, a little bit more on the zigzag effect. And I'll use Adam's picture as a great example. You know, if you're using the zigzag method to drill down into the core of the cave, you might come across a scenario where you miss a layer and it seems like you're drilling too far. That's mainly because the, the spot that you decided to drill into is just solid rock. There is no cave layer there for you. Well, the cave might be off to the side or to the, or to the left or to the right. You, you just missed it and you actually drill down two layers before you actually get into another cave. Be conscious of this as you're going through the cave system. If it feels like you've gone too far down in the rock, you absolutely miss that pocket of a cave. All right, well, that was my video about caves. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Put a like if you liked the video. Leave comments in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our community. And if you want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.